Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to enter Tier 4. Yes, we are. I hit, have hit level 30, so Tier 4 is now available to us. Uh, I've actually been sitting on the last one or two levels, uh, even before this. We have 7 points to spend, plus 3 talent points. Um, before we get started with that, though, I did a live stream on Sunday, February 13th, for a few hours. Uh, in the afternoon and in that live stream we mostly finished the house um so yeah the house is largely done um there are some interior things uh, we can do on the house uh with the carpentry bench um that i might do but yeah for the most part it's finished so if you want to see how all of that came together uh, watch that live stream again. It was on February 13th. You can find it in my, the live stream section of my channel. Uh, otherwise, so we're going to pick up right from here and, uh, yeah, continue on. So I'm pretty happy with how the house turned out. I'm going to be uh, moving into the house, um, and we might actually start that process a little bit later on in this episode. We'll see how things go. Uh, but anyway, uh, we also, on the live stream... Um, I had already made the lantern. I think I'd made the lantern with you guys. Actually, I don't think I had. I'd learned it, but I hadn't actually made it. Uh, so the lantern gives amazing light in caves, uh, way better than the torch. And we has to, had to also build this biofuel composter, which we got, I think, in Tier 2 or Tier 3. Um, let's see, where did we actually get that? Uh, we might have actually had to get that in Tier 3 now that I think about it. Yeah, right here. Uh, in order to make biofuel to fuel the lantern. Um, so we did that, and I don't think... Oh, we made um, yeah, we made the oxygen tank. Um, so we now have that, and it... I don't know how long this thing lasts, but it lasts a very long time. I'm thinking maybe four to five real-time hours per tank. Uh, so much, much better than the bladder and we also made the canteen too which is amazing and we made the the rain catcher uh, rain reservoir thing um the reason i decided to make this after all even though we're by a lake is because in the future uh we may not be by a lake and so we're definitely going to need this um so I, I went ahead and learned it okay so with that being said um let's go ahead and i want to put a couple things away here uh in here let's put the, these things away and um so yeah let's t let's start taking a look at stuff so let's go to do the talents first uh we're still working on combat and i am now five percent chance to craft additional ammo that's kind of cool uh, i'm working on rifle uh, redress so that gets our rifle damage now up to 10 percent uh, we have rifle re up was 20 percent faster reloading and i I load this rifle so fast now, uh, I fire a shot and it's loaded before the kickback is done. Watch. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, well, never mind. Um, why was I thinking that? Anyway, well, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I was, uh... Oh, I know what I was thinking. I know what I was thinking. You know how when you kill an animal... The camera zooms in on the animal, you know, for like for the for the death camera. That's what I'm thinking of. By the time that's done, I've already reloaded the rifle. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh wait a minute, uh, that, that what's not what's not right about that? So we have maxed out this rifle. We have uh, we can do the maximum damage with it now with these um, rifle reductions. I think the next thing I'm probably going to start working on maybe is the shotgun. Uh, I don't really see the need for the pistol because the rifle is going to take care of long and mid-range especially since we can reload it you know pretty quickly and then shotgun would be for close range uh all right anyway let's go uh, we still have one more talent point to spend and why don't we go ahead and um put that into shotguns so there we go uh, shotgun 25 percent craft shotgun ammo resource cost okay so yeah we'll start thinking about doing shotguns uh, all right, now let's go to uh, our tech tree. There's a lot of things here that I want to do. So when we look into tier four, we have to do the fabricator, um, and that's just a done deal. Now there's a lot of stuff here in the tier four tree that requires carbon fiber. And so in order for us to make carbon fiber, we have to know carbon paste. And then we put the carbon paste here in the forge, and it'll make the carbon fiber for us. 
So we have to we have to get that, and that's actually back in tier two, strangely enough. Um, so let's grab carbon paste. All right, that's done. I'm also gonna grab crushed bone because we have gobs and gobs of bone, and we can use this to make uh, epoxy. Now I have another way to make epoxy, but it requires tree sap and and sulfur or something, um, and uh, it's just going to be easier and quicker to, to convert all these bazillion bones that we have uh, into, yeah, see, we, so it just takes four crushed bone to make epoxy as opposed to sulfur and tree sap. Uh, so we're going to do that. I, I was told on the live stream I, that I should do it anyways because we may have later uh, prospects where we're not going to be able to easily get to trees to make tree sap, tree sap and all that. So, okay, we're taking that. So that gives us four points left. Now I want to get uh, I want to get the herbalism bench, but I don't know if I'm going to do that right quite yet. The herbalism bench is going to give us uh, the ability to make bread and also some of these higher level medicines. But there's some really more important things uh, or uh, other things that we really really want to get. The carpentry bench is one of the things that would open up some of the cooler interior pieces. But you know I'll tell you what. I think we really need to start looking at some of this stuff instead. Um, so we can, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to look at the titanium pick. Now, I don't know why this is, but titanium is way more abundant than platinum. But for some reason, titanium is a higher tier than platinum. I wonder if that was a mistake. I don't know. Because uh, I usually find maybe one platinum node in a mine, but I usually find, you know, anywhere from three to five titaniums in it. So... And we've got a lot of titanium already. Now, we also have the hunting rifle, um, which I'm very interested in, as much as I do like my little pipe hunting rifle. We've got the compound bow, which I'm interested in. We've got composite armor, which we won't be able to get to until we hit level 35. So I think the very first thing we need to be looking at is this titanium pick, because it's going to give us 75 mining radius and 140% yield from mining compared to the platinum that we've been using, which is 70 and 133. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so let's learn this. I don't know if I'm going to learn the Titanium Axe, just because the Platinum Axe is already just amazing for for cutting wood. So I, I don't know. I think we're going to hold off on that if we get it at all. All right. Um, now, the next thing is how many points we have. Okay, we have three points left. Uh, we can do a biofuel generator, which is going to use be used for some of this electrical stuff a little later on. But um, I think I think I want to maybe do the hunting rifle, the compound bowl, and maybe the titanium arrow. Um, there's also the composite arrow, but that requires composites, and I'm not sure exactly how we make that yet. See, there's like this composite paste stuff. So, um, but the titanium arrows uh, are going to still be amazingly dangerous uh, in and of themselves. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking hunting rifle, compound bow, and titanium arrow. Before we commit to that, though, um, you know, we could also do the aluminum arrow instead, but I mean, if we're going to spend the point, we might as well spend that on the better thing anyway. So I guess that doesn't make sense for us to make, to get this now. Uh, I'm just trying to see, is there anything else? We got the biofuel deep mining drill. So, so we could use, you know, fill this with biofuel to drill. Um, oh, we're going to have to learn the shotgun, aren't we? Unless, well, actually, can we, is there a higher level shotgun or, or not? I don't see one. I just see the hunting rifle here. Maybe that's something we would have to get like in the workshop or something. I don't know. Well, I tell you what, we are going to, we're going to do this. We're going to do the compound bow and we're going to do the titanium arrow. And you know, we still have, if my understanding is we get points up to level 40. And once we hit level 40, then that's it for our points. We're definitely going to want to spend five of those points on this armor for sure. And then we'll just have to see what's left after that. Okay, cool. So now, fabricator. What do we need to make this sucker? Um, we probably make it in the machining bench, I'm thinking. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, though, too, I think... 
I think we're going to go for the combat knife or the titanium knife. Uh, obviously, we can't do it right now, but... Um, yeah, because that's our main melee weapon. So this machete does 63 to 70 melee damage, but this does... 71 to 75. What is our... This one. This one does 66 to 70. Actually, our... Our platinum knife is better than this. So I don't even know why we would get this at all. Vanquishes flora and fauna alike. Yeah, I'm not sure why we would even bother with that. Uh, but the titanium knife is going to give us 71 to 75 melee damage and 225% yield from skinning. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be an upgrade from the platinum knife. So so that's on, on the list of things that I want to get to. Anyway, let's go ahead and look in here now. And what do we need to make the fabricator? Oh, wow, that's expensive. We're going to need 30 electronics. I have eight already. Uh, we have the aluminum. I've got lots of aluminum downstairs. we got the concrete. So actually, yeah, it's, we've got most of the stuff. It's just the electronics we're going to have to work on. Um, and the electronics are going to require epoxy. And we can start, we can now make those from bone meal. So what we're going to do is come over here. And we're going to grab all of the bones out of here. And all of the bones out of here. Come over to our mortar and pestle. And make... A shit ton of crushed bone. Oh. Um, room. Here. I was going to say, what the hell's going on? Let's grab all of that stuff out of there. we got to pick all these back up. And then we're going to turn all of this into epoxy. Okay, so put those back in there. All right, so let's let that do its thing. And uh, we'll put the charcoal back in here for now. Now, we also needed... What else did we need? More elect... Uh, we need more electronics. So we need to make another 28 electronics. Uh, and that's going to require all of this stuff. So we got the gold, we got the copper, organic resin. We're going to have to make some more of that. See, but look at all this titanium that I already have. In fact, uh, can we make the titanium pick right now? Oh, you know what? We're, I bet we have to make that the fabricator. So, yeah. Um, all right. Now, the epoxy paste business. That we're also going to need to make. Or, I'm sorry, the composite paste. Do we make that in here? Yes, we do. Ooh, that stuff's kind of expensive, isn't it? All right. So, we're going to need some silicon ore and more organic resin. For that. Okay, so what do we need for organic resin? Oh, oxide and wood. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go out, get a bunch of oxide, get a bunch of wood to make this so that we can make this. Oh, and silica. We're going to grab some silica too because I, I don't think I have much of that. Yeah, we don't have a ton of that either. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go out and gather oxide. Uh, we still have a little bit of wood here, so I don't think I'll grab wood. So, oxide at silica. And then we'll come back and see if we can get this fabricator made. Alright, guys. We are back. I turned all of the crush our bone into crushed bone. We are now just going to make a shit ton of epoxy with that. And then we're going to make some organic resin next. I went and got a bunch of oxide. Uh, I didn't get a lot of silica because I couldn't find a lot of silica. But um, hopefully we got enough to proceed here. Uh, so let's put those in there and let's grab some wood out of here. Not all of it. Whoops. Quit hitting that button. Let's grab like maybe two stacks of wood and we'll put those in there and then uh, for the epoxy okay so we've got a hundred okay let's let's um stop stop that okay now let's make a bunch of these and I'll turn the rest of this into epoxy and resin and all that kind of thing later on uh, there was one other thing I forgot to show you guys, too. Uh, we made, uh, in the live stream, or I made, rather, 
the dehumidifier this thing is amazing you guys if you haven't made this in your game if you're playing this you got to make one of these it is just fantastic what it does is basically removes the the cave debuff so you don't have to deal with the debuff itself and you don't have to deal with um, the chance of getting pneumonia in the cave uh, and it just runs off of charcoal so it's really cool uh, so check that out in your games uh, those of you who are playing this if you haven't already okay so we still have plenty of bone left over there too uh, all right so what are you still doing okay you're still making more organic resin let's take uh, oh we needed that okay yeah let's get some aluminum um, I'm gonna grab maybe like two stacks of aluminum and put that in here and then we can start making a carbon paste but hold on before we do that uh, it's the electronics that we're that we're needing to make right away so let's get that done first so we need to make 28 more electronics so we're gonna need gold copper organic resin and epoxy all right so let's grab what we have so far we'll grab a hundred of those um, here let's let that get to a hundred as well Grab a couple of things of copper and a couple of things of gold. And we got a hundred of those. Okay, let's go back to uh, making more of this while we're waiting. And now, how many of these can we make in total? We need 28 so we can make 21. So let's start with that. I might need to store my gunpowder somewhere else why don't we is there room in here for gunpowder yeah there is okay we'll put the gunpowder in there since that's all kind of associated stuff there charcoal coal gunpowder sort of maybe a little bit i don't know <laughs> uh, okay so that gives us 23 electronics we need to make seven more uh we can make six more and then we're short something. We'll have to figure out what that is. It looks like it might be copper. Yep, not a problem. We have more copper down here, I think. Yeah. I stopped grabbing copper from capes for a while because I wasn't using it. But now, you know, now I am using it because we need it for, like, electronics and stuff. Okay, so that gives us 30 electronics. We got that. Uh, the, we just need some more aluminum, which we have downstairs, and we need... We got concrete here, right? Yeah, we got 92 concrete there. Uh, let's just grab that right now. And put that in there. Um, we got the screws. Yeah, we just need the aluminum, and we need to make 8 carbon fiber. Alright, so let's go back down to our mortar and pestle and put the that stuff back in there. And I'm assuming, well, here it'll tell us. So we need one carbon paste to make one carbon fiber. Very good. Okay, so let's start by making eight of these. How many can we make? You know what? Let's just make all of them. We're going to need them. We are going to need them. I really wish we had a sorting option in this game. I know, I say that all the time, don't I? Um, okay. So, two more, and then we'll be able to make the carbon fiber. Okay. Let's put those in here. And, uh, that doesn't take too long. Uh, what, six seconds or so per piece, it looks like. And then we needed more aluminum, so let's grab another... I don't know how many, I can't remember how many we need, so... And yeah, we'll just wait... Uh, for these to finish. Okay, we need four more. Let's put the aluminum in here. And yeah, we're just waiting on the carbon fiber. Awesome. I'm gonna put, uh... Some of this gold back down here for now. We have 10 more carbon paste. I'm just going to turn all of that into carbon fiber. I don't know that we need to use the carbon paste by itself or anything. And, you know, if that is the case, we'll 
we'll make more when the time comes. Okay, let's put this copper back in here. And look at that. Fabricator. Boom. Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, there she is. How big is this thing? Well, it's not too big. I think for... Uh, I mean, we're going to move everything over to the house, of course. But I think for now... Let's just stick this right here. There she is. Okay, so now we want to make the titanium pick, so we're going to need titanium ingots. Let's transfer all of the titanium ingots out of here into here because it doesn't look like that station will ever use them anyway. Okay, so we got that done. Um, very cool. Okay, so let's start with the pick. Uh, so we need four more carbon fiber, four epoxy, and some screws. We should have more screws in here. Yeah, we do. We'll stick the screws there and let's go get some epoxy out of here I think I'm gonna take a full stack of that and just keep it up there and let's grab all of this carbon fiber we're probably gonna need to make more of that too okay titanium pick oh man oh man look at that you guys hot damn let's look at this baby Uh, nope, five. Oh, we can't really see it up here. <laughs> let's go back downstairs where we have a little more light. Okay, now let's take a look at it. Look at that thing, man. Oh, that is so awesome looking. You'd think that point would be pointier, though. The tip. Very cool. Okay, so we got that made. Uh, we can now retire our platinum pick. This thing served us well. This was an amazing pick, but we have an even more amazing pick now. Yay us. Okay, next thing is... What do we want to make now? Um, okay, how do we... I don't know how we make composites. We're going to have to figure that one out. So it looks like we're not going to be able to make the bow quite yet. Is that something we have to learn in Tier 4? Didn't we look for this already earlier and I couldn't find it, right? Um, composite paste. Material processor. I wonder if we need, like, the chemistry bench to make that sort of thing. Uh, or maybe the material processor. This is probably the more modern version of the mortar and pestle, I'm thinking. All right, yeah, I'll have to look that up. But my guess is we probably need the chemistry bench to make composites. So we're not going to be able to make the compound bow yet, but we should be able to make this. So we just need wood and leather, actually, and that's it. Oh, damn. We can handle that. Okay, let's grab some wood from here. And actually some leather from here, too. We're largely done making stone anyway. We might have to make a few pieces here and there, but for the most part, I think we're done with that. Okay, let's make a hunting rifle. There it is, guys. There it is. Now, we could still make the titanium arrows and use those with our recurve bow. Uh, there's no law that says we can't do that. And that'll give us a little boost there. Okay, so our this bolt-action rifle... Uh, what's the comparison there? Um, is there a way to unload that thing? I don't see an unload option. Okay, well, anyway. Alright, so this does 120 rate of fire per minute. A single shot bolt action that packs a punch. A lever action semi-automatic rifle. How can it be... Not going to be a lever action and a semi-automatic at the same time. That doesn't make sense. 100% critical. 120 rate of fire per minute. 60 rate of fire. One second reload speed compared to three seconds. Of course, that's 
reduced somewhat by our thing and six ammo capacity. Uh, okay. Let's look at this. A lever action and a semi-automatic rifle are not the same thing. It's a very cool looking rifle, man. If it's semi-automatic, I should be able to just fire off three shots in succession. Let's see. Alright, I see what they're doing. They're... It is sort of kind of semi-automatic. Because my guy works the lever right after I pull the trigger. I don't have to do that myself. Like, So, okay. It's not really a semi-automatic rifle, though. <laughs> it's a lever action rifle. But it's, it's a very slow semi-automatic rifle. But it's still faster than the other gun. Um, I, you know, I one thing I love about this game is ammo is actually not that expensive to make. Not that I want to waste it, but I do want to just do a quick comparison here. Um, so let's get our lantern out. You know what, though? I set my lantern down here on the live stream and it disappeared. Okay, looks like that's going to stay there. All right, so... Let's just compare the the time uh, between shots. So it's about close to three seconds. Well, it does say that, doesn't it? 300 millisecond to reload. Yeah, okay. Uh, and this should be just one second. Wait. Oh, yeah, look how fast he's working the lever action on this. Holy shit. Yeah, so I can I can fire off five rounds in about one second uh, in between, in about five seconds. Um, Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. I wonder if this still does more damage. I wish they would tell us how much damage these things do. That has... Yeah, they both have the same durability... A single shot, bolt action packs a punch, lever action semi-automatic rifle. This one has more crit. Uh, more crit than, I'm, I guess when it says 100 per, plus 100 percent, it's comparing it against this one? I don't know. But if it does have more crit, then that alone is going to make it a superior weapon, but it already is. Unless this one still does more damage. I have no way to know that. There's just no way to tell. Okay, well, we're going to retire that rifle. Um, and now we got this one. Man, that is freaking awesome, you guys. Okay, so we got a titanium pick. We got a, a lever-action hunting rifle now. <coughs> That's um, sort of kind of semi-automatic, but not really. <laughs> and uh, we could go ahead and make some titanium arrows. What's it? Uh, it takes carbon fiber. Uh, this is 81 to 90 projectile damage and a 25% critical and 10% projectile chance compared to 63 to 70, 30% chance to break and a 15 critical. Yeah, so so these are definitely good. Um, they do. Do I just get one or do we get more than one? Because that taking up an entire ingot. Oh, we just get one. Wow. That's expensive, man. That is really expensive, actually. Um. Okay. What I think I might do... Well, I kind of think about this. Because if we run into something big and dangerous, uh, a.k.a. a bear, we're going to use the rifle anyways. I'm probably not going to use this at all. And then we could still continue using the cheap arrows just you know for wolf and deer kills and all that because i mean i'm one shot and everything with it already as long as i get a headshot so i don't know maybe we shouldn't necessarily make a bunch of these right now i think we're gonna wait on that a bit okay very cool so uh what else did we did we take anything else in the tech tree that we want to make right now we can't make the compound bow yet we already made the pick and the hunting rifle and i think yeah i think that's it we did uh <coughs> excuse me goodness gracious um we did 
the bone, uh, we got the bone stuff so that we can make the epoxy. This stuff here, crushed bones. So we learned that and uh, we learned the carbon pace and we've already messed with all that stuff. Okay, good. All right, you guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode. And so I'm going to keep working on gathering up more resources uh, to make more epoxy and all that stuff because I think we're going to need a lot of that stuff. More carbon fiber, which we're going to need. Um, and work on that for a bit. Um, and I'm also we also need to start moving over to the to the new house, to the big house too. I'm trying to decide if I should do that on camera, if you guys would want to see that, or if I should just do it and uh, just show you the end result later. Uh, for one thing, it's going to be I'm going to be um, you know I'm going to have to kind of think about it as I go. So I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it as I go. Uh, but anyway, whatever we do in the next episode, you will certainly know what that is when the time comes. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.